Shadow of War is an epic third-person open-world action RPG and the sequel to the award-winning Shadow of Mordor. This walkthrough takes place many hours into the game, where we will show you one example of the epic personal stories created through the next generation of the revolutionary Nemesis system. To save Middle-earth, we will be journeying deep behind enemy lines and using the new Ring of Power to forge an army and conquer Mordor from within. On the world map, we see the many regions we can conquer. Every one of these regions is a distinct environment with unique enemies and allies, including overlords, war chiefs, captains, followers, fortresses, strongholds, missions, and more. Today, we're going to attack and conquer the mountain valley of Saragost and take it from Sauron's overlord, Ur Hakon, the Dragon Lord. Let's launch the assault. It's not only our enemies and the world that make the Nemesis system unique, it's also our followers. Rag Dug the Iron Mount has armored cavalry that can charge through the flames of artillery fire. The Demolisher is a living battering ram with the power to smash enemy defenses. With our followers at our side, we must first face the Stormbringer. The Bright Lord. I fought for you, bled for you, and you left me to die. But I was reborn with the power of the Dark Lord. He has a history and personal grudge against us. He used to be part of our army before he betrayed us and joined the Dark Lord. He also carries a dark curse which prevents us from using the power of the new ring. Come, charge into the flames of your reckoning. The Overlord has deployed multiple fort defenses, including siege beasts and flame archers. No more talk. We bring war. The first objective will be to break through the main gate. Stormbringer defeated, we've broken the curse and can unleash our power as the Demolisher breaches the gate, allowing our army to storm the fort.
there are many ways to conquer a fort, from open combat to stealth and infiltration. We've infiltrated a spy within the enemy ranks. Deadeye has placed explosives, allowing us to sabotage the wall and outflank the defenders. is also able to help clear the way by sniping enemies. In Shadow of Mordor, the Nemesis system created memorable stories of bloodshed and revenge. In Shadow of War, your followers can create entirely new stories of loyalty, betrayal, rivalry, and even friendship. Thanks, Deadeye. Nice shot. We've expanded the RPG systems in Shadow of War enormously. Defeating Stormbringer allows us to collect this epic armor of Rohan and equip it. Mounting armored cavalry allows us to ride through these flames unharmed. Releasing and dominating the Drake lets us turn the Overlord's defenses against him. Terrified the flame of war, now bend him to your will. The ring of power allows us to dominate the minds of our enemies, I am compelling them to join our growing army. Now, with the power of the new ring and the help of our followers, we've defeated the war chiefs.
we can face our ultimate nemesis in this fort, the Dragon Lord himself. It is time to take what is ours. With the Nemesis system, every Overlord faced by every player will be unique to their world, and the throne room itself has been customized by the Overlord as his personal combat arena. <laughs> It's the Lord of Mordor himself, the Grave Walker. You've made a right mess, haven't you? My army slain, my Drake dead. So much pain. Well, I know a thing or two about pain. It's going to burn a hole into this world. Overlord defeated, Fort Saragost and this region of Mordor are ours. Conquering the region rewards us with experience, loot, new followers and resources. It also creates a personal base from which we train our forces, increase our power and upgrade our defenses against Sauron's counterattacks. Let's return to the army screen where we can review our enemies and command our followers. We need to select one to become the new Overlord, so he can spread his influence throughout the region, creating an entirely original nemesis fortress. This war chief is a necromancer. He will shroud the fort in sorcery to confuse and terrify attackers. This war chief is a beastmaster. He will allow us to turn the creatures of Mordor against our enemies. But we're going to promote Ragdug, the war chief who charged through that artillery assault and helped us bring down Ord Hakon, the Dragon Lord. As a marauder, he can loot and pillage the region for us. With our new overlord in place, we can upgrade the fortress, increasing its defenses and enlarging the size and power of our army. The Nemesis system means that every element of this mission was dynamic and unique. No two players of the game will experience the same story. We will spread his power! This was just one step in our conquest of Mordor. One small example of the millions of unique stories players will create in Middle-earth Shadow of War. Lord. <laughs>